Map execution in a distributed two-node environment. The mappers on each of the nodes are assigned to each input split a box. Based on the input format, the record reader reads the split as a key value pair. The map function is applied to each record to then return zero or more new records. These intermediate outputs are stored in the local file system. Thereafter, a partitioner assigns the records to the reducer. In the shuffling phase, the intermediate key value pairs are exchanged by all nodes. The key value pairs are then sorted by applying the key and reduce function. Again, the output is stored in HDFS based on the specified output file format. The essentials of each map reduce phase are shown on the screen. The job input is specified in key value pairs. Each job consists of two stages. First, a user-defined map function is applied to each input record to produce a list of intermediate key value pairs. Second, a user-defined reduce function is called once for each distinct key in the map output. Then, the list of intermediate values associated with that key is passed. The essentials of each map reduce phase are as follows. First, the number of reduced tasks can be defined by the users. Second, each reduced task is assigned a set or record groups, that is, intermediate records corresponding to a group of keys. Third, for each group, a user-defined reduce function is applied to the recorded values. And four, the reduced tasks are read from every map task, and each read returns the record groups for that reduce task. Reduce phase cannot start until all mappers have finished processing. So combining your output is an important step once all the tasks are completed.